video. I just want to say that this was a highly requested video from people in TikTok comments to Instagram comments and YouTube comments as well. So thank you all for the support on all the platforms. But now let's get right into this room tour. Once you open the door into the room, you can see my bed, setup, and just everything. First thing I'm going to be talking about is Ikea mirror right in front of the door and it's 67 inches and above it is a Supreme bag. Over this video, you'll be seeing how much I like Supreme and even next to it is another Supreme bag and a Galaxy projector that I don't really use. To the left of this is my closet where I store most of my clothes, backpacks, shoes, and more. This glass case from Ikea is called a Detoff and is 64 inches high and surprisingly I was able to fit it in my closet. In this case are my 2003 Jordan 1s which are shown right here. And then there's also Jordan 5s that were from 1995. Under these shoes are a collection of Kobe magazines that I have plus a Kobe shoe box. You guys will see the shoes later on in the video, but I am a really big Kobe fan and wore number 24 ever since I was around 7 to 8 years old. Now at the bottom of this case, I have some of my Warriors gear, a KD jersey. How much was that jersey again? And he's on the Nets? Yeah. Anyways, after that, there's an Iguodala bobblehead that I got during one of my first ever AAU basketball games. And then lastly, there's a 2017 Warriors replica ring. Above the glass case are my backpacks. I have a North Face backpack, Supreme backpack, a Stephen Curry Under Armour backpack that I use for basketball, and last but not least, a Herschel backpack. These are my four favorite bags that I have, but my other ones I just put in my storage, which is on the other side of my closet, but yeah, we're not gonna talk about that one. Lastly in my closet are just my clothes that I use for mostly sleeping or clothes that I don't really wanna showcase. Now we are going to move to the left, which is my setup that I use, but I don't really use it for the purpose it looks like. As a lot of 15 year olds would use their setup for gaming and streaming, which I used to do, but now I don't really have the time. So I use my setup for literally editing and homework. It's still a nice setup, but yeah, I don't really use it to play games anymore. First off, let's go to my PC. Here are my PC specs on the screen. This PC has helped me with editing, streaming, distraction from homework, and more. Above my PC is a fake IKEA plant and a CDG sticker in it which makes the plant not look so plain. Next to the plant is a nice white and black item to show the date. I don't really know what the name of it is, but here's a picture of what it is on Amazon. And then even more higher above this is a 3D LED clock that I got from Amazon for around $25 to $35. And it was a really good add to my setup because it's aesthetically pleasing to the eye. Next to my PC is an actual real plant and it's one of the four real plants that I have in this little room. For my computer accessories, I have a Razer Viper Ultimate with a dock, a custom keyboard, and last but not least, a mousepad from the mousepad company. At the back of the desk, I have a regular size stream deck and put my old logo as a screensaver, but now I don't really have a logo. Next to the stream deck is my Elgato key light that I barely use. Onto the left of this Elgato key light is my wireless phone charger and an Amazon Alexa sitting on top of these marble coasters that I got off Amazon. Then in the corner of my desk, I have a couple speakers, a 49er speaker and just a regular other speaker that I have and a plant that is dead. I forgot I had these. Then I have a PS4 controller that I don't use and my MacBook Pro in the background sitting on a MacBook stand. The tabletop I use is called a Lag Captain from Ikea and it is a 55 inch one that goes for around $30. What holds this whole table up are two Ikea Alex drawers. Yes, I don't have cable management because every couple months I've been switching my setup corner to corner and place to place just like these pictures and I'm tired of doing it over and over again so I just stopped. The chair that I use is called the Herman Miller Aeron, and it goes to around $1,000 to maybe like a $1,700. By the way, I did get this for free though, so don't worry. Lastly for my setup are my monitors and my mic. My main monitor is a curved 144Hz Asus monitor from Amazon, and the second monitor to the left is a regular 60Hz from BenQ. Last but not least is my mic, which is an Audio-Technica 2020 XLR mic, which is being held on from a Blue Compass boom arm. Now that's it for my setup. Let's go to the left to see my apparel side of the room, or whatever you guys want to call it. Now to start this side of the room, I have a grass rug that so many people on TikTok want to know where it's from, so here it is on the screen. Next is another display case from Ikea, and to start this off, I have the third real plan of my room while on top of this, with a candle and a sign which says Rise and Grind. Now going into the glass case, on the top I have my Jordan 11 Winlike 82s that I bought probably around 3-4 to four years ago, and they're just in here for looks to be honest, because they are not my size anymore. Under these Jordans, I have human races from their inspiration pack. Next off are some boxes of things that I use like a MacBook, my old AirPods, but now I have the Pros, a mouse, and an old mouse pad that just sits in here too. Then these are my first ever Jordans that I got as a little kid and they are a nice add to my room. Lastly in this box I have some random pop figures and yes, some are Fortnite, but 
I'm gonna redo this box soon. Then in front of it, I also have a mat for workouts and really just stretches. So left of these, I have a supreme bag that is very clean and fits in with the whole vibe of this corner. Then behind this is an Ikea lamp that I actually don't use. You can see that this bulb is not on, but the LED lights behind all of these make it glow to look like it's on, kinda. I also have shoe boxes here and a massage gun bag behind the supreme one. Now onto the shoes that I have in this corner. The first one are my favorite basketball shoes I have ever owned, which are the Kobe Fork Wizards. After these shoes, I have these Space Jam Air Force ones that I have never worn but plan on wearing them soon. Then the next two shoes I have are my Michigan Dunks I got from Urban Necessities in Vegas and then these triple white Air Max 97s that I got from GOAT because I couldn't find it anywhere. Then in front of my shoes are a bag and it carries just a waist and a band that I use almost every single day. Next to these is a very useful card that I got from Ikea which is called a Rascog. On the top I have my necklaces and my journals so it's easy and fast to get when I'm on the go. Under this is my camera equipment and I do want to upgrade these soon in the future but as of right now this is all I have. Then in the bottom row I have some candles, accessories, and hair products that I don't really use. Above this is my clothing rack that is mounted to the wall and it holds my favorite clothes or the clothes I usually go outside with. I also think that this was one of the best simple additions to my room that I've made so far. Lastly for this corner I have this plant my mom gave to me so I don't really know the name of it but I did realize that I could overwater them and um, let's just say I did kinda. Now to the last side of my room which includes my bed and I guess we can call it a side table. The bed I have is called a sleigh bed from Wayfair and I was looking for beds for the longest time and you could see in my video of my room tour almost a year ago, I was sleeping on this bed called a futon which wasn't very comfortable. This bed is great and it even came with LED lights and the bar which made it 10 times better. Then above this is another Supreme bag and like I said I move my setup a lot. So I still have a wall mounted monitor mount on there so I just place my bags on it instead of having more holes in the wall. Now on the right of this are some cool products I had sitting around my room. First off is a Gucci bag that is hanging onto a nail that's in the wall. And above it is a letter board that says grind every day and for those of you that haven't seen my TikToks I'm doing daily vlogs on TikToks for the whole February so that's why it says grind every day. And I'll probably be doing it after this month so make sure to follow me on TikTok. On the right of these two decorations, I have four Ikea lac shelves, one giant one, and three smaller ones. On the giant shelf at the top, I have these Kyrie Fives named the Spongebob Houses. Then, in the middle of it, I have a basketball. Under this, on the left, is a New York black hat, and on the right is a light blue hat. I don't wear hats anywhere, but I had nothing else to put on these shelves, so I said, why not? Lastly, for these shelves, on the bottom is my Bart plush toy I got from Disneyland in LA, and I put a Supreme beanie on him that I bought from the San Francisco Supreme store. Now onto the left side of my bed, I have a mini fridge which doesn't have any drinks in it right now. And then above the fridge are two candles which smell super good and an RGB oil diffuser that you can buy on Amazon. I also have these cards where you take one out and then it gives you a random motivational quote which is cool to open in the morning for me. Lastly, on the top of this fridge are my hair products that I use on the daily lotions and fragrances. Last but not least, above my quote unquote side table or fridge is my whiteboard that I put up literally yesterday and it only has a couple goals in mind that I have and hopefully I can achieve these by the end of the year or even during summer because you never know what can happen.